Can we hear this? This is this is Binky Beats. This is the Binky dance mix. Of okay, we're gonna stop. Although Binky taught me how to do something just now. Hi Binky. Okay, stop please. Thank you. Binky taught me how to full screen Google Chrome. You press F11. He did that with his elbow. So tip from cats, computer tips from cats. Oh, wouldn't that be a YouTube channel? Hi guys, it's me, Leanna. Long time no see, I know. Um, this is, that was my PlayStation controller hitting the ground. You can tell what kind of week it's been. Yes, but it's sunny outside. And so I felt like I could once again face the internet and all its horrendous negativity. And I don't know if you can see what I got up right now, but yeah, we're, we're talking about this story I just saw and it, it prompted me to take to the U of Tubes and talk about this whole Dallas Green uh, writing a song about people who hate his wife. And why would people write songs about people who hate his wife, do you ask? Well, why not? People write songs about what they had for lunch. Andy Warhol made a can of soup. Why not write this song? Um, but his wife happens to be Leah Miller, who, um, you know, former Much Music VJ, former, uh, you know, host of So You Think You Can Dance Canada, not exactly war crimes territory here. But people feel the need to say they hate her on Twitter and say mean and nasty things and apparently it upset her and so he wrote a song. And uh, I just, first of all, wanted to say that I, you know, had the opportunity to spend a bit of time with Leia when she was at Much Music and she was one of the few people who I never heard saying something bad about me or giving me dirty looks when they thought I wasn't listening or looking. So I think that's a point in her favor and that means that she deserves to be defended when people are being mean to her. But this brings me to my larger point today. Why would anybody get on Twitter and take the time to probably text with their thumbs because they're doing it from a phone, I hate you, to someone on television? How are people raising their children to believe that this is a constructive use of time? Oh wait, I got a new computer. Wait, this is shiny. This is my new bio computer. Ooh, toy. Okay, I digress. It is a touch screen. But anyway, back to the important thing I was talking about. But that's my new computer. His name is Fred. Uh, oh no, his name was Fred, but then I had to reformat the hard drive, and so I figured Fred died, and so I named him George then, because that's the twin that lived in Harry Potter. I am not kidding, this was my logic. But what was I saying? Oh yeah, Twitter haters. Okay, complete waste of time. It is better to name your computer after Harry Potter characters. That is a better use of time than writing to somebody just to say, I hate you on Twitter. I mean, the thing about this is it's, it's not actually just a waste of time. It's actually bad for you. I mean, that kind of thing, you're, this is gonna sound really mamby-pamby and, oh look, I also have The Last of Us but I can't talk about this yet because it's embargoed right now. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take this Naughty Dog sticker that came with the game and stick it on my forehead because I wanna do something because the game is good and I like it, but I can't talk about it yet. So there we go. Hi, Naughty Dog. Um, but uh, you're awesome, Naughty Dog. And there are actually dogs in your game this time. Um, but uh, yeah, so Twitter hate. I just put a sticker on my forehead. Probably made a few of you laugh. Probably made a few people going, what is she doing? Putting a sticker on my forehead is a better use of time than telling somebody that you hate them on Twitter. Why? Because you are putting yourself in a negative headspace. You're, you're making everything around you negative for that moment. And sorry guys, that comes, back and, that comes back and bites you. At some point, you cultivate that, that comes back and bites you. And the number of people I know that do that, that, that force unnecessary critiques on people and then, you know, three months later they wonder why their life sucks and everybody's saying bad things about them. Well, there's a reason. You got involved in that, that you know, what they call the haterade, and I hate that term because it's dumb and, you know, sounds cool but really means nothing. Um, but, you know, you got in that cycle and so when you do that, when you go up to somebody and say, hey, my friend thinks you suck on TV, you're, you're beginning that. You're beginning that. And you have no one to blame but yourself when other people turn around and do the same thing to you. Because why? Because you invited that. Because it's amazing 
what people are watching you do, especially in the connectivity of the internet. It's amazing what people are aware of in terms of what you do. I'm hyper aware of this because I post a lot of really stupid things on the internet and I'm always amazed at how it resonates with people. Um, you know, by the way, our mayor smokes crack. Yeah, allegedly. Um, but you know, that ended up on the internet kind of, and it became this big thing. Large, you know, example, don't make that the wrong kind of joke. Um, but it, it still proves the point. You never know what's going to end up there. And what goes around comes around sounds like a cliche, but it's true in these cases. It's, it's not new agey stuff. It's not, you know, spiritualism. It's common freaking sense. Someone is going to hear you say that nasty comment that you didn't need to say. People, you know, like Leah Miller, people like me, we do frivolous jobs because we want to entertain people and possibly say something relevant occasionally. That's nice. But our, our main thing is to entertain people, make you laugh, make you think, begin a conversation. Just because you disagree with us or just because you may not necessarily, like it may not be your cup of tea, doesn't necessarily mean that we are worthy of your hatred. I mean, thanks flattered that I got that much of a response out of you. But like, seriously, I've had people letter grade the various parts of my body. This was when I was still on a TV station down in the US and things were a heck of a lot worse. Um, and I mean, Leia's got a much bigger profile than I do. Therefore, she's going to get it way worse. But in the age of Twitter, celebrities are kind of stuck because you do run your own Twitter feed. You do see this stuff. There's nobody filtering between you and the, the nastiness, and it's always, you know, the one nasty thing um, that sticks with you as opposed to the nine nice things. Because the nine nice things, people are, you know, encouraged to be polite. And there, you also realize that there's a lot of people that just send you stuff because they want to be seen talking to a celebrity. You know, people tweet people, so they'll tweet them back. Let's face it. The nasty things, they stick with you because they're just intended to hurt. Like, and if you're not doing it intended to hurt, if you think that something like that is going to help a person, you're wrong and, and you're an idiot because stuff like that never helps a person. Something that vague and that unaware, if you've never been part of a person's work process and you don't know what they're going through in that job, you have no business commenting on anything but your personal opinion because you don't know what's going on. You don't know what conditions they're working under. You probably, if you're tuning in now, just now, don't know why I have a Naughty Dog sticker on my forehead but I have a Naughty Dog sticker on my forehead. And there was a cat earlier, so that's all weird. And um, it just bugs me when people like Leia, who, le le like I said, she's not doing anything to harm humanity. I know there are some people who think that frivolous entertainment harms humanity. Guys, so you think you can dance Canada is harming no one except, you know, possibly some intern that a stage flat may have fallen on at some point in, you know, my deepest, darkest nightmares. Um, because that's happened to me and it hurts when a stage flat falls on you. It hurts worse when you get hit by a jib, but that's my own life. Um, but she is not doing anything worthy of hatred. She is not doing anything so terrible that you need to take time out of your life to tell you she sucks. Because that's saying way more about you than it's saying about her, because you don't know her. And if you do, you got even less reason to be talking trash on the internet. But anyway, just wanted to send this out so that somebody said something positive for a change, because, you know, Leia works hard. You have to work hard to get anywhere in this industry, and I think she should be rewarded for that. And it gave me a chance to put a Naughty Dog sticker on my forehead. But anyway, Leia, I hope somebody tells you about this, and I hope somebody tells you that people are saying something nice about you. Um, so uh, that's it. That's uh, my first Video Geek download in a while. And there'll be more coming up pretty soon because we got E3 coming up and all that wrist. stuff. So, oh, my wrist. Do we talk about my wrist? We should. Oh, boy. This is every time at around this year, I get some embarrassing cosplay injury. Uh, last year, it was jumping with a whole bunch of helium balloons dressed as Sailor Mars on a concrete floor, and I busted my knee. This year, I possibly heard it dragging a suitcase with a sewing machine 
because I had to do a very ironic last minute Rosalind Lutes costume for Ottawa Comic Con because they were Bioshock Infinite theming the masquerade or costume contest. And um, I hurt my wrist in another unfortunate cosplay incident. So hopefully I won't need surgery for this one. Hopefully it'll just get better. Uh, somebody told me I, I should put claws on my wrist brace because that's cool. And I agree that that's cool. Um, and I actually tried to do it. The problem is that it's impossible to hold like a game controller with claws because you have to curl your hand around and it, it, it does this. See? Wolverine could not play video games because he'd be like, and get all mad and then pop his claws and then psh, your trigger button would be right out because like look at where it lines. It would just shave right off. Except they kind of pop out here, don't they? But they kind of curve. I mean a controller would be going down at some point. And I don't think that's the six axis that they're talking about. Or it's an Xbox controller and then it's just an even bigger target. Um, but yeah, so that's what I did to my wrist. It, it was really dumb and really ironic because I got in so much crap for my comments on, on Bioshock Infinite. I mean, people thought I was the freaking devil because I thought the game was worth an 8.5 instead of a 10. I mean, these are the gripping troubles of our times, you know. Anybody who gets mad about these things should be forced to move to like a, a Middle Eastern country for a while so they can see what real struggle's like. Um, that's just my opinion. It would be too expensive and then those poor Middle Eastern countries would have to deal with angry slobbering gamers. So forget it, bad idea. I'm sorry Middle Eastern countries, that was wrong of me. See, I can admit that and that's why I'm cool. I also have a Naughty Dog sticker on my head. And this is the point in the segment I realized that I probably shouldn't drink a butt ton of Diet Coke before going on camera because I'm not even sure if any of this made any sense. But anyway, this is a Video Geek download again. Check back in real soon because there'll be E3 coverage where I watch the press conferences on the internet in the comfort of my own home, possibly in various pajamas because I realize that's a lot smarter than spending $1,200 to go to LA. Okay guys, see you soon.